Hi, I'm T1J. Follow me on Twitter. This video is a continuation of a series in which I explain the acronym HACO, which has become sort of a mantra of this channel. HACO, of course, stands for honesty, assertiveness, kindness, and open-mindedness, which are the four minimum characteristics that I believe are required to fit my idea of a admirable, respectable person. And this series is designed to explain why I believe that. You can watch the intro to this series by clicking here, or you can check the description. Today, we're gonna to talk about the H in HACO. Honesty. Of all the aspects of HACO, honesty is probably the least controversial and the easiest to understand, so this video probably won't be that groundbreaking and maybe a little bit basic. But for the sake of completion, I'll go over my thoughts anyway. Now, honesty as I see it can be separated into two categories, honesty in words and honesty in actions. So being truthful basically means not intentionally misleading or deceiving people. Pretty basic. The most straightforward way that people do this is by lying. And of course, we've probably all lied at some point in our lives, and some of us do it more than others. People lie for various reasons, but the main reason that people lie is because they think it will benefit them in some way. So for example, sometimes we lie to manipulate or control people. We want to get people to make decisions in our favor that they may not have otherwise made. Yeah, baby, I promise, I'll clean the house, I'll do whatever you want as soon as I get back from watching the game. Other times we lie because we're hiding something or we're ashamed of something and we're afraid of the consequences. Yeah, I'm just gonna go watch the game. I'm definitely not gonna drive two hours across town to gamble away all of our life savings. Definitely not doing that. And sometimes we lie to make ourselves or our situation seem better than it is. Sometimes this is tied in with manipulation and fear. Yeah, I know I shouldn't lie to my wife, but trust me, we have an understanding. It'll be fine. I'll explain everything. She'll be fine. We do this all the time. Truthfulness, like many other things, is expected of us in our interactions. Like when you say something to someone, it's expected that you're not lying about it. And I think this is a rational expectation. And this expectation is understood by all parties involved, thereby creating a kind of social contract. So by being untruthful, you're breaking that contract. But of course, there are several other more practical reasons not to lie. Lying interferes with your peace of mind. It's stressful. Sometimes it's hard to keep up with a lie or multiple lies, but even if you do, it's still a tremendous weight on your shoulders. And sometimes you get in so deep with lies that it's hard to break out. And if you get caught in a lie, you can lose people's trust and respect. Like if old buddy at the blackjack table doesn't get his act together, his marriage might be a little bit on the rocks. And depending on the circumstances, of the lie, you could even go to prison for it. Honor is kind of a nebulous term, and you know, telling someone to be honorable is kind of a platitude. There's probably a better term, I just can't think of it. You can tell me a better one in the comments if you have one. And I'm not talking about like the medieval idea of honor, like honor before victory. I describe it as basically attempting to do things that are reasonable and fair. Like in fighting games, a lot of people hate players who spam the same moves over and over again because it seems to be a very dishonorable way of playing. But most of the time, that's just people who are bad at the game and are unable to deal with cheesy strategies. I digress. Honor is a bit different than truthfulness as it relates more to your actions than your words. For example, breaking into someone's home and stealing their PS4 is a very dishonorable thing to do because it's unfair to the owner of that PS4. I know you really wanna play Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, but they bought that PS4 with their own money. You didn't earn it. I feel like dishonorable actions often happen more seamlessly than straight up lying because lying often requires a premeditated conscious plan to mislead someone, while dishonest behavior is often knee-jerk emotional reaction. Like say you're helping out a fellow student with schoolwork, but then you find out that she's going on a date with a girl that you really like, so you get really jealous and you decide, I'm not gonna help her anymore. This is unreasonable and unfair and ultimately dishonest. But don't get me wrong, this kind of behavior can be more premeditated and calculated, like a person who became rich by spending their life screwing people over. Now, as mentioned, dishonesty is usually rooted in the desire to gain a benefit for oneself, whether it be money, sex, love, admiration, or Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So the real test of an honest person is when there is an opportunity to be dishonest in order to gain a benefit or to avoid a negative circumstance. And these benefits might be very attractive, but in my opinion, the damage to your relationships and your personal peace of mind just isn't worth the trade-off. And personally, I think that being known as a dependable and trustworthy person will benefit you more in the long run. People will favor you and promote you and help you and look up to you. I mean, potentially you'll like make less money 
money or maybe get laid less or something like that, but hopefully that's not what you prioritize in life. So how do you develop honesty? It seems very simple to just say, be truthful and be honorable, but it's often harder than it sounds. In fact, you'll find that all of the aspects of Heiko are sometimes harder than the alternative. So you have to make a conscious choice to establish your values and stick to them, even in situations where it doesn't seem to benefit you. You have to analyze your decisions, all of your decisions, and double check to make sure that you're sticking to your values. But of course, you have to value honesty in the first place. Now, I think most, if not all people, value honesty, but we don't value it all to the same extent. Like some people think you should never lie or cheat or steal or betray anyone for any reason under any circumstance. Now, personally, I don't go this far. I can conceive of situations where being dishonest would be harmless or maybe even beneficial. Like if you let your little brother beat you in a basketball game just to make him feel good. That's technically dishonest, but it's also probably harmless. And then there are people who are perfectly okay with being deceptive and acting unethically as long as it helps them pursue their goals. And if you're that person, I've already explained why I don't think that's a good idea. And if that's not convincing to you, then I guess you're just not the target audience for this video. But once you have decided your values, then it's time to make a purposeful effort to live by them. And it's hard at first, but it's something that you get better at with practice. That's just me though. Thank you for watching my video. Check out my last video about negativity bias. It kind of segues into this video pretty good. Thanks to the new YouTube end screen, you can click on this now, even if you're on mobile. If you find any value in my videos or if you just want to support me, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. There's also a link on the screen to that or in the description. I want to give a shout out to all of the new subscribers. How you doing? And remember, stay Heiko and subscribe if you like my hair.